So check it out. I finally have a beard now. <laughs> I think the beard looks a lot better than the clean shaven look, at least on this game. And he sort of has a Fetty Potter look going on. I don't know if it's the tattoos. Maybe it's the beard. I don't know. And I'm also happy to say that I finally found a hookups board on the modding discord. And <laughs> I've been looking for hookups boards ever since I first entered the modding discord. And finally, they've arrived. And you know, I gotta have my barely clothed anime chicks and i also landed my first kickflip on a hookup board so you know i'm glad to be skating one once again i really like the hookup board designs just the anime chicks i really like the anime stuff <laughs> some of you might not be familiar with hookup boards but look them up look at their graphics and i also got some really cool tie-dye thunder trucks i really like those a lot i really like thunder trucks in real life but these look really nice mine don't look like that in real life mine's like a blue and red color i for forget what the official name is for them but yeah, they're thunder. Anyways, my style does not matter. We're not here about my swag. Today we're talking about this really cool dev test park. I found it, I tested it out, and I really like it. There's a lot to skate here, but it's just a lot of test stuff. I really like these stacked boards here, so we're gonna be skating those later, but let's check out this mega ramp, or I guess you would call it a mega ramp. Looks like one to me. Let's check it out. We gotta get up there though. I think you can jump up from the side. Oh, there we go. Okay, now let's test out the mega ramp. <laughs> so I don't need a lot of speed for this. I just want enough air time just to make it over to the next ramp. But I actually want to land into it, not on top of it. Let's just try to do a 540 across it. Just something simple right now. Just figuring out the speed. Maybe I could have got a 720 on that. Let's try that again. Yeah, let's just do a 720. Might as well. Oh. Um, <laughs> not really a 720. I didn't need a revert for it. I mean, I guess it was a 720. I just landed sideways. I would like to land not sideways on that 720. Usually I have to revert for the 720s. So yeah. Yeah, that's probably going to be the cleanest 720 I get. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to get it without the revert. Without a revert, that's probably the cleanest I'm going to be able to get it. Okay, so let's actually play around on this. Let's actually get something clean like that. And then let's go up and yeah, that 90 degree angle stops us right there. So right where the white starts, I think that's where we mess up because you cannot ride up at a 90 degree angle. So I want to play on that ledge. I might have to do a couple practice grinds on it first just to see how well it's going to skate. And I just rode on it right there. No grind at all. So let's try to do something simple on it. Maybe just a lip. Okay, well that actually grinds pretty well and nice, very nice. So let's try to get a kickflip nose blunt on it, just something simple. And yeah, I just went completely over. It's sort of hard to aim for that. <laughs> it seems like you're a lot closer than what you are to it. Okay, that was a little weird. So hard to tell if that was a nose blunt or an over crook. But uh, yeah, let's do, let's go take a look at that. So I guess you could call it a nose blunt. He was sort of weird, sort of sliding on the wheels right there. And then he sort of angles it right there. So uh, yeah, I guess you call it a nose blunt. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. I'm really not that worried about it. So I want to do some type of stall on that big quarter pipe, but I'm not really sure if it's going to happen. I'm going to try, but I don't think it's going to work. So I've been trying this for a little while now, and I haven't even gotten close to getting a stall. I have been able to pop up there, but I haven't landed in any type of stall. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try this out later. And if I get something, I'll put it on this video. But if not, then I'm not putting it on here. Look at this little bitty rail that I can't even grind. So I think this is just testing out different ledge and rail heights. And this is probably the highest that you can get from flat. Maybe you could get up here from flat. I'm not really sure, but they do have a ramp that sparked five degree angle. So you can actually get up there and they have a ramp on the other side too. So you can go back and forth on it, but I want to skate the small rail. So let's get into a lip and see if I can revert out. And that was a terrible revert out. Let's do that again. There we go. Yeah, nice little revert out. So what happens if we try to do a smith? Let's try to get into one. 
Okay, if I can make that look smoother, that would be nice. There we go. That's what I was wanting. Something like that. <laughs> okay. I think we can move on now. I guess I could try to do something on this really, really small rail, but there's really nothing to do on it. So let's try to do like a 50-50, then rotate into something else like that. Yeah. <laughs> but I want to make it all the way to the end. Okay. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll take that. <laughs> Now let's see if I can get this high ledge right here and we'll get it from flat. Okay, there's no ramp on the other side. So yeah, let's try to get this from flat. I think maybe a nose slide and a tail slide would be all we have to work with. And yeah, that was a really low pop. Let's try to do a nose slide. I feel like we'll have better luck with that. And okay, well, no slides work. What about a board slide on the rail? Okay. We can get board slides on the rails too. Okay, well, that's probably as high as that we're, we're going to be able to go when it comes to ledges and stuff. Okay, well, let's move on. Let's see what's behind us. We got a radius 200 and a radius 400, and we have an S. Hmm. Maybe we can do a nose manual all around the S. That would be pretty sweet. And over there, we have some, uh, we have some transition. So it looks like they're working on transition too. I mean, just... Of course they are. Why wouldn't they? But obviously they have it in their plans. Let's try to do a nose manual across this S. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Wow. Manual fundamentals. Daily challenge completed. Thank you. I got $3 for that. What do I use the money for though? And I don't want to go at this really slow, but I don't want to go too fast either because I actually want to be able to do this. <laughs> it seems like it's going to be a little difficult, but I think we can get it come on come on come on ah uh, all right come on come on come on come on just gotta make this last turn and nolly flip out oh yes all right <laughs> okay let's test this out we got 50 degree angles we got 60 degree 70 80 and 90 let's try to roll up that and see if it'll let us actually skate the 90 degree angle and all we're gonna do is roll up that's it and yeah 90 degree angle doesn't work. What about the 80? I think it will. Yes, the 80 works just fine. But I'm thinking maybe we could still get a stall on top of that. All I want is just to do a stall on it and then I want to move on. Okay. Hey, <laughs> that's fine with me. Like I said, all I wanted was a stall and to move on. And we have another little half pipe right here. And it actually has a roll in. But we can't walk up it. Let's hop. Okay. Now what? And it feels really hard to skate just because of that 90 degree angle at the top. If I could just avoid that, that would be great. <laughs> but it always throws me off right there. I cannot wait until they add transition physics to the game. Okay. And yeah, I think we can leave that now. <laughs> I just wanted to land one thing on it so I can move on. Just like the last one. So let's try to skate the inside and see if uh, they'll let us go up. I don't think it will. No, it won't. But we can still skate the half pipe. I'm sure. Let's see if it's any better. Let's see if we can just roll up. Yeah, we can just roll up. Okay, so it doesn't really go at a 90 degree angle, it looks like. It's probably more like 80, I guess. Or maybe 95. And man, that was insane. <laughs> So it looks like they also have the wall degrees. So it goes from 85 to zero, I think. Zero would be flat. And then on this side, it's five to, was it 90? So yeah, okay then. <laughs> Let's try to ride from zero to 85. I wanna see if I could do like a wall ride at the very end. Wow. So I'm having trouble just getting that last one. I don't think it's possible. It could be, but I tried right there and it just threw me off. So, oh well, there's plenty of other things to look at here. And I'm sorry that I've only done a lot of simple stuff this video. I've just been messing around with all the little test objects in the park. So I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible, especially with the transition because transition is already hard enough to skate. And yeah, the stalls, the stalls and stuff are even harder. So that's why, that's why I'm keeping it simple. So what is this? I feel like, 
I think it's supposed to test the impact, and that's why it gets smaller and smaller. So it looks like it's just testing the impact or the uh, impact animations by how much he drops. That's what it feels like to me. So yeah, okay then. <laughs> Let's look at these ledges. All the ledges are at a different angle, and I, or maybe it's a different height. I feel like they're at a different height and angle. So yeah, and then we have rails like right after. So let's just do the small one. Kickflip nose. So let's try it again. I don't know what happened there. Kickflip nose. Hopefully. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. And I was going to do something on the rail right after, but yeah, I didn't really have enough time for that. I wasn't set up for that. Let's try this steeper one. Let's go kickflip nose. And then, yeah. <laughs> didn't have a lot of time to prepare. Blah. Didn't have a lot of time to prepare for that. And I need to learn how to talk. So yeah, it's just basic ledges and rails, hubbas and rails, whatever you want to call them. So let's move on to the stacked boards. I want to test out the stacked boards. I really like that they put this in here. And they also have like, I guess, m different height manual pads or just different height ledges. I'm not really sure. Let's try to ollie up the 80 one. I don't think I can ollie that high. Okay, I guess I can't. Let's try the 70. Can I ollie up to the 70? All right. Got a nose manual across it, so we can ollie that high. And that's probably the highest that we're going to be able to do it. Now, let's try these boards. So, we got a 10, which is nothing. 20 is one board. 30 is a board and a half. Okay, so I see how they're stacked now. Can we ollie over the 70? Let's try 60 first, and then let's try 70. Let's test our ollie height. So, I'm going to start with the 60. I believe we can make that. And, okay, that was pretty easy. So, let's do the 70. Looks like I barely made it over the 60. We made it over the 70, but we clipped. I don't want to clip, and I don't want that to happen either. Maybe if I tweak it, maybe if I tweak it forward. Oh, yeah, okay, the tweaked, the tweaked Ollie actually worked with that. We actually went over it. When we had a pretty good height on it. I don't think I could get over the 80 like that, but we got over the 70. I got a lot of pop on that, so that's really awesome. Now, there are some more dev test build parks, but uh, I thought this one was the best one out of all of them. But if you want to see the other ones, let me know in the comments below. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to hit that like button. If you're new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to hit that bell so you actually get notified when I upload. Let me know what you think about this video in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.